Maya. I'm broadcasting out the UK and today is a special lava lab. I'm in the bathroom because it's going to be a messy one. So we're talking today about the Razorock line. Okay, this is what we have. Let's start off with the smallest. They're all plus soft knots and they're all super, super soft tips with quite a bit of backbone. So for those that are going to, who like a little bit of a scrub or using a lot of hard soaps, these will all work for you. So let's start off with the smallest. I've lined them up via size. So here we have the keyhole. The keyhole is 22 millimeters knot. Okay, and they're all marked here at the bottom with their names, but not with the numbers. So this is the 22 millimeter that is the smallest in the range. And then we have here the Bruce, which is a loved by many. Okay, the Bruce is a 24 mil. Then we have here the Monster, which is equal to the Big Bruce in size. This is the Monster, as in not size. And that is 26 mil. And then we have the Stubby one, which is the Beehive. I think it's sort of self-explanatory why it's called the Beehive. And that is 28 mil. And then we have the Hulk. Okay, and thank you. This is the Razor Rock Hulk. And thank you to those that have helped me get this together because they come from donations and or loans and swaps. Okay, and I've had quite a few of those. So I'm super happy that I could can show you actually the lineup. So that is the lineup. Now I just want to, before I get into the lathering itself, I want to mention a few things. Okay, what I've mentioned this maybe in my which not which synthetic not to choose video. I might have mentioned it before, but I will mention it again. So lots of you use maybe a cup. This is my Mrs. Cup to lather or some have a bowl or a scuttle that is fairly narrow down here and has either a smallish or a biggish hole um, for warming their knots so or or soaking their knots whichever way of course you can you don't really soak synthetic knots but sometimes you just want to warm them up. Now I find this is why I like also the small ones, not only the big knots. My general knot size that I have is the 24 and the 26 mils. So these are what I have most of in my collection. But I do also have the smaller ones. Why? Because they fit in a scuttle like this. Okay, you do have to press the knot because they're voluminous down into here but they lie in there nicely and it will fit okay and then also then the shape you can get into here very nicely that is why I like the small ones the 22 mils as well um, I don't actually think I've got a smaller one apart from the Wilkinson sword bore knot, but on the top it's definitely a 22, so we won't mention that one for now. Okay, the same applies to a cup. Okay, you can get into a, a larger cup, you can get nicely into your cup and lather if, you lather, if you're doing a bowl cup lather. That is why I like the 22s and the 24s you never have a problem with. When you get into the larger ones, okay, in this cup it will, it will work, but it's a bit more complicated. You haven't got quite as much swirl room in this. 
and I just want to show you on my scalpel because it is the smallest I have because this is like um, you know the Chinese small bowls that I do otherwise that it, this is about the same um, width down the bottom but it is higher than those so yeah you can see you can do it but you haven't got quite the same swirl room when it comes to lathering and then everything will be pushing up the sides um, so that is the downside if you're doing face lathering then you want something big maybe depending look you see this is the 20 this is the 26 this is the 28 yeah <laughs> and this is the mo is the hulk right look at this it does <laughs> more than half my face okay so then you definitely you'd have a problem with this yeah definitely so that is another reason why I how I choose my brushes okay not only for the handle I think they've got to have a nice grip to the handle and this one is super because if you've got small hands and you tend to take the bottom and if you're doing far away spaces places yeah or legs like women do then we want something that we can grip at the end and still not lose grip and this keyhole shape is perfect for that um, if you want to have more control then those with bigger hands can even grab the knot you know here and take hold of it like that this too has a fabulous shape for the same reason it's more smooth and it's thinner but you can grip it well on both sides. This one with this shape, it is a little bit more awkward if you're only gripping the bottom, you'll have to grip it like that. Like this, you can do it, but it's a little bit more awkward, but it gets better if you want a real proper grip. I don't have a problem in having it flatten my hand and gripping it like that it feels comfortable enough um, this is the best of both these worlds it has the small grip here at the bottom but then we have lots of the, a lot of this ridge in here and the Hulk well what shall I say it's a workout in itself just holding it but this has massive grip at the bottom and then I almost need two hands for the top. I, I can't, you see, I can't even grip around that. <laughs> I can just, just about get, no, I can't get my fingers together on here either, but it's, it's literally a handful here on the top, uh, on, the, on the bottom part like that. I, yeah, you can do it. I could hold it like this, but it's not very comfortable for my hands anyway. But thank you very much for this because this is a request. This is coming up to do a shave with this one. So all the knots are the same quality, fabulous knots, all have the same softness. Let's just have a check what the differences are. What well, maybe I'll just lay them on the side and then put the camera down. Try to avoid the rolling around to make a little bit of space so they're not squashed so that one can see. Okay, we just make sure they're not not physically really squashing each other. Make a bit more space like that. Okay, let me adjust the camera down. Okay, can you see that? That is the difference in the knots. You can see the size difference now very well. Okay. So there you go. You can see what it's like. And now I'm going to switch you off and I'm going to get my soap, which I've forgotten in the other room. And then we'll do the lathering. So see you in a second. 
Okay, for this I thought it would be just fitting to use Razor Rock Irish countryside. Let's just stay with Razor Rock. So I have my bowls, I have soap in here, each and every one of these. And I will now just put a little bit of water into the sink, just so that I can dip the brushes. And I'm not going to do a scientific one, I'm just going to show how they lather, okay? Now I'm just looking for, oh sorry for that, I'm looking for my syringe, not because I'm measuring, but because it's easier to put into the, into the bowls whilst talking. So, right, let's start off with the keyhole. Um, let me use this so that it doesn't make quite so much noise. So we'll do this by size. Okay. There we go. Let's dip the brush in. So all we want to see is how much, does, how do they really lather? Does it make a humongous difference? So I just dip my brush in. And I could have put the soap a little bit thinner. I didn't. I just left it in one big lump. Not very good of me, that. Okay, let's just mash it down a bit more, otherwise I'll be standing here tomorrow. So you can see how this is starting to cream up already. Get the proto lather down a little bit. Whip that into here, so the uptake is phenomenal. Look at that. You can see how it is soft. It is a painter, but it does still have some backbone to it. Um, that's why these brushes are so phenomenal. And you can see how this small brush still makes a fabulous lather already. And I've not really tried, I'm not trying very hard here. I'm just swirling lightly over the soap. And I'm not measuring, I'm just getting water in there. What I don't want, I want to get it sort of creamy and have enough peaks. Yes, you can work the lather a lot longer, but for the for this video, I'm not going to be working it, working it. I just want to have enough that there's that you can see the differences not timing any of this either so from that point of view it's not going to be a scientific lava lab today i just want to show you that even the small brush will give you a lot of lava so that you can see that And the more I work it, I'm sure the more this would lather up. I've nearly used up the soap there at the bottom. It's nearly gone all in now. And I put more or less the same into every bowl. So just so that you know. I didn't measure it, but I measured it today. Didn't weigh it out. So this is the little keyhole. Look, for a 22 mils, look how fabulous this lather is. That's the quality. Look at the tips. That This is holding a lot of lather. Right, let me just pull this out. Let 
And of course, this is, will also vary in what kind of soap you use. Um, some soaps you will need more to get the same sort of lather. So that is this. I just want to clean up the the resin base of the brush. So here, look at that. This is what this little brush can hold. I think for a travel brush, for a small cup brush, for someone that's on a budget, for someone that has small space, this is an ideal brush. It does more than sufficient, makes more than sufficient um, lather and it works fabulous feels on the skin so good yeah um whether you like a super soft brush or whether you like more of the tux end of a knot this is sort of somewhere in the middle right so that's the little keyhole let me put this bowl to the side right now next oh i have a hair in here a brush hair must have been from the natural brush I used the soap with. Let me just smooth this out a little bit, not that it takes so long. Okay, there we go. Let me draw up some more water. Right, next one, the Bruce. Dipping that in. Right, let's go. This is the 24 millimeter this is the most bought brush of the lot. This and the big Bruce. Okay, you can see this has gone a lot faster into the creamy mode. It's all in here, it's loaded very well. This is a thick bit of soap. Let me just distribute that a little bit. Let's get some water in. I've got little bumps of soap in there. I didn't do this very well. But hey, this is life. You'll get this when you're in a rush and you're doing things. That's what you'll get. So this is almost like a real life lather. As you see the difference now, it's already all in the brush rather than in the bowl. This is holding the lather a lot more than the little one did. making a mess. Did that go as far as the camera? <laughs> it's certainly all over the surface. Okay. I want to get it to the same sort of consistency as the little one, as the keyhole, so that we have a sort of a comparison. You see it's very easy to do. That's more or less the same consistency now. This is what it looks like. Okay, can you see that? This is what I've got in the bowl. Let's squeeze it out. up the handle a little bit there we go so comparison sort of equal but this one keeps the lather more in the brush 
maybe I work that one a little bit more. Don't forget I haven't got the exact um, the exact soap measurements. So that's these two. Let's move on to the next one. Let me just distribute this better. I really didn't do a good job with the other one. I've still got little lumps of soap in the big Bruce bowl. No, in the Bruce bowl. This would be, this is now the same size as the big Bruce, as I said. This is the 28 mil. 28, 20, 22, 24, 26, sorry, 26 mil. This is the Monster or the Big Bruce. They're both the same size. I didn't draw up any water. Let's draw up some water. Here we go. Okay, let's go. This, the pressure index of these brushes are all the same. It's just the knot size that is different and the handles. Okay, it's already all in the brush. Okay, can you see that? It's already way up into here. I'm sorry if I'm moving around a lot. I've had really bad back spasms last night and I'm in a lot of pain. I've had so much medication. Oh. Right. So I hope I'm not jiggling around too much for you guys. Okay, look at that. I'm adding, this is still quite pasty, I'm adding more water. Trying to get the proto lather down in the bottom so that it's all mixed in. And it's whipping up absolutely fabulously. With this one, one thing I have noticed, if you do um, tub lathering straight from the tub, this will load so much soap. You've got to be careful that you don't up, end up having <laughs> an overflow onto the road when you start lathering your face, if you know what I mean. Okay, can you see that? Okay, this is where the size starts making a very big difference. Yeah. Not that I dislike the other two, you know, I just said I love the other two. They're perfect sizes for me too. Um, depending on what you're using and what soaps you're having and what you feel like. You don't just get it for the prettiness or just for the lather. But now you can see, look at this. Is that not absolutely phenomenal? Right. <clears throat> just a close up what we've got. Okay. That's the same consistency. And you can now see how much more this holds in the brush. The bigger the knot, the more tends to be in the knot, the soap in the knot rather than in the bowl. Uh, can't get it all off. Okay, let's clean up the base just so that you can see. Doing this all on camera, there's no cheating going on here. Right, this is what that looks like. We'll do a comparison right at the end. Let me put the other two here. So that's the Monster, the 26 mils, which is the same as the Big Bruce. Different handle, the Big Bruce has a handle like this. 
just bigger knot. Right, next one. Let's get this soap distributed a bit. Make my life easier. Right, now the beehive, 28 millimeter. Let's dip it in, squeeze it out, draw up some water. Let's go for it. I know this is going to be a longer video, but sometimes it's worth taking the time and showing you real life, real time. Um, how these work so that you can make your own judgment um, on what you like everyone is different your mileage may vary okay look how instant that was look how quick it's already gone to the pasty pastiness add water Just squirt it in there. This one will eat a little bit more soap and needs more water. You can feel that as you're going along. Let's get the proto lather down. Keep it contained. And now you see why I said this. If you have a small vessel to do your lathering in, or a um, or a shorter vessel, as in the walls aren't that high, then you will be having problems with the bigger brush because it will be all spilling out. More water. <clears throat> That's another reason why I chose these salad bowls because they're high and have a nice width down the bottom. We're nearly there. Okay, here we go. Same consistency. This is what we've got. Let's get it out. There, can you see that difference? Let's try to get as much out as I can. It doesn't always behave, this lava. Right, clean up the handle. This has fantastic grip. I love, love the grip of this brush. Okay, let's put that there. Okay. Right, and now to the big one. I don't have any more bowls left like that, so I have to use my Brittany Ferries one. Let's get this distributed a bit better. Yeah, and I've used a wet finger for this one. Right. Draw up water. So here we go. The Hulk is on its way. Dip that in. That will need dipping a few times because of the size of the knot. I tell you what, this is quite heavy. This takes some doing as a workout. Right, I should have done this one first. <laughs> okay, here we go. Got soap in the bottom there. Oh, 
Okay, this is the pasty stage already. You can hardly see any of the soap. It's all in the brush. Look at that. Add water. Oops, it's a bit more difficult with the with the sides. It's rather satisfying this, I must admit. Oh. more water I've got to put it like this for a second because it, all of the water's gone into the sides here okay let's bring the proto lather down this needs a lot more work Slipping. Let me put that there for the minute. It needs more water. So I've used actually quite a bit more water than I did in the others with this. Look, and it still wants more water. Right. Still pasty. Okay, now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. This is an arm workout. It's almost like kneading bread. That's oh, still a bit pasty. Look, can still take a bit more water. Add a little bit more. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, you've got to work it a lot, a lot more with this brush simply because of the size of it. Okay, it's coming now. It's getting there. Okay, I think we're there. Okay, that's the same consistency now. Okay. Some is spilt over, even out of this big, br a big bowl. So here we go. That's what it looks like from here. You can see what that looks like. Let's get some of this in. Okay, <laughs> even getting my hands around the knot is difficult to get the <laughs> get the lather out. Look at this. Oh, there's just so much more in here. It's really sodden with lather. This could take a lot more water to get the rest of the soap out. So you can still get, with a bit more water added, you can get at least another dollop like that out of it, minimum, if not more. Right. It is the Hulk. That is for sure. And it's a lot of fun. Right, let's clean up the base. Okay, that's what we got out of the Hulk. Let 
I don't know if you can see that well or not. I hope you can. So let's compare these. Right, smallest to biggest. The two small ones next to each other. Keyhole, Bruce. Big Bruce or Monster, Bruce. Beehive and Hulk. Beehive and Monster, Beehive Monster. Beehive and normal Bruce. Beehive and small keyhole. Monster and Bruce, uh, Monster and Hulk, sorry. Bruce and Hulk. And keyhole and hulk I've already done. So here we have them all. Brushes. These are the three big ones. And then the two small ones. line them up again and they're still with soap so that you can also see the tips if I lay them down and you can see how they respond okay And let's try line up the bowls once more. From keyhole, Bruce, Monster, Beehive, And the big one I don't have to show that's just that doesn't compare to anything okay these two were the two biggest beehive and Hulk right I hope you got something out of this video I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I will see you Monday I'm already missing you Monday I have something lined up as well see you then bye bye